Hey Gemini, I'm Crystal. This is for Sun, Moon, Mars, and Venus. Okay, we are going to pull the cards, see what comes out for you. And then we're going to clarify them. You have drama. Some of you guys hate, have some people around you that are causing drama. Okay, they may have a massive ego or just think that they're the shit. Okay, um, this could be somebody that is... Um, obsessed with you okay they may act like a child so I feel like you guys and have somebody in your energy this could be friends family people at work lovers children whatever this is I feel like you guys are dealing with a lot and like this person will not let go of you this person is really just like I feel like this person is driving you guys insane okay this person's constantly creating drama for you look the two of swords it's like you guys are a little bit conflicted on what it is that you guys want to do here. Or this person is just like, um, they could bo go both ways. <clears throat> I feel like this person, bipolar is what I'm hearing. Okay, bipolar or some type of issue that they deal with. Queen of Wands is another card of drama and we're clarifying the drama card. You've got the Queen of Wands. This person is determined to start something with you, to start fresh with you, to have a brand new beginning with you. But with the Two of Swords, I feel like you guys, let's see how you're feeling. The High Priestess, the Death card, you are one. Okay, so that's a good thing. It's like, these are all major arcanas too, by the way. You guys are stepping into your power. You're making major changes, okay? I, this just fell out. The King of Cups and the Ten of Swords. I don't know if y'all could see that, but um, I do feel like um, you guys are just getting your shit together. You know exactly what it is that you guys got to do. You're kind of keeping it secret, okay? It's like you notice how much your worth is. Like, you know that you don't deserve what it is that you are going through with this person. So I do feel like you may have dealt with a Scorpio, a Taurus, or even a fire sign with a uh, Queen of Wands Sagittarius energy. I feel like you guys are just walking away from this person. No longer feeding into their drama. The King of Cups, you've learned how to control your emotions. You learned how to walk away from this person. The Ten of Swords is finality. Done, right? Endings. Painful endings, too. So this person, I'm going to clarify the Obsession card. The four of pentacles in the world. This person thinks that you are theirs. Like, they are obsessed with you. They don't want to let go. They're very greedy. Um, I know this says completion, but to me, I feel like competition. So this person may try to, like, cause a lot of problems for you. Let's say if you're dating or talking to new people, this person may try to jump in. It's like this person's always there. The eight of pentacles in reverse. That's how you feel. You don't want to work on things with this person anymore. They're too much. So what's coming in for you? The ten of pentacles. You guys are creating a future for yourself that's going to, like, you're really focused on your work. Maybe your career. Maybe you're going back to school. I did just see the page of pentacles earlier, but I put it back in my deck. So it's like you guys may be studying something, going back to school, getting, I'm here, a master's degree. So some of you guys may have got a, got a master's degree or something, or you're really focused on just mastering your life, right? It's like, fuck this shit, all this drama, I'm moving on, right? I don't want to work on this anymore. I want to focus on my career. I want to focus on my legacy. Whatever it is that you guys are trying to create, it's like, you moved on. Page of Wands, Yeah. You're exploring new things, okay? You're ignoring this person. I feel like you guys don't want this person anymore. So let's see what else is coming in for you. Because I don't want to talk too much about, like, negativity shit, negative shit, right? So we're going to pull and find out what's coming in for you. I just seen a magnifying glass. It's like this person really tries to fucking get all the details on you. So let's not focus on this energy. What else is coming in for you? Somebody is definitely watching you online and wanting to know more about you. You may not even see this coming, okay, with the blindfold on. You may not know. This may be like a secret admirer or somebody that... Um, watches you so some of you guys may work online or some of you guys post a lot online um soulmates this person okay this person okay with the string heart strings i do feel like um so stringing along getting pregnant entrapment playing with feelings somebody may have gotten pregnant on purpose to try to trap somebody okay but i don't feel like that's going to be something that blocks 
the thing, you know, this from happening. Okay, so this could be one of your soulmate, or a soulmate, a twin flame that's going to come through and ask you guys out on a date. So you may know who this person is, but I feel like this person may be trapped. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Four of Pentacles. You got a lot of people that don't want to let go of you, huh? Knight of Cups. This person wants to come through and, like, ask you out on a date, okay? They want to, you know, you have the strength card, which is Leo. I feel like this person, they want to come through. They want to protect you. They want to take care of you. They want to, you know, uh, what's that word where you're, like, doing everything for oh, chivalry? It's like, that's what the Knight of Cups is. I feel like this person feels bad for you. They may know what you're going through, or maybe you post about what it is that you're going through, and they may, like, see it. And I feel like this person has a lot of empathy for you, but it's like they want to come through and protect you. They see that you're stuck, and it's like this person wants to help you in some type of way, as I'm saying that, the Two of Swords. Yeah, they see that you're stuck. And they see that you're walking away. You also may be <clears throat> not all the way in touch with your emotions. You may have learned how to block them out for some time with the Eight of Cups, okay? This is somebody who's just dealt with so much bullshit. And it's like with the Eight of Cups, you created all this, right? Or you've had all this for a while. You're, you're used to it, right? But you're walking away from it. And with all the butterflies, you're transforming into something, you know, someone more stronger, more brave, okay? And it's like you're going, the Eight of Cups after that is the Nine of Cups, your wish granted. So you guys are going towards a dream here. You guys are going to free yourself out of a certain situation. Yeah, it's a brand new beginning. I feel like this person, look how like she looks really, really sad, right? I feel like this person just looks at you and it's just like they could feel your sadness. Even if you don't show it, this person can feel your sadness, okay? We're going to clarify the soulmate, okay? You have the temperance card, could be a Sagittarius. We have Taurus. Queen of Pentacles. To me, that's always, to me, that's Capricorn. And the Nine of Wands, the Six of Wands, the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck, okay? Something that you don't see coming yet, which the Four of Wands is unity, it's a reunion. 11-11, uh, it's a completion or, some, or a new door opening up for you guys to walk through after a tough ending, right? Or after an ending. With the Nine of Wands, this person is surrendering. They may have left this up to spirit, to God. Okay, and I do feel like this person has been really healing. Queen of Pentacles and the Temperance card is like this this person that's coming through has healed themselves. I feel like this is somebody who has a good head on their shoulders. Okay, and it's like this person's might be um with the Queen of Pentacles are real flashy, okay? They're also a social butterfly. Um, this person, I feel like this person likes to talk a lot or wants to talk a lot to you, even though it's not swords, that's what I'm feeling like. Um the Six of Wands, though, I don't know. It's like your person sees you moving on, sees you moving up. You may be dating people, like I said. And it's like maybe they feel like um, they're going to lose their chance with you. I feel like this is a completely different person than the other person I was just talking about. But it could be the same person, but take it how it resonates for you. I feel like this person, when they come in, is going to be way better than the last person. I feel like it's two people, okay? Take it how it resonates for you. But this person sees you're moving on. They see that you're moving up. Queen of Pentacles, right? It's like they want to come back through, and then they're just leaving it to, to God, to Spirit. I feel like they've prayed about this. You know, they've asked for this, for another shot with you. The Five of Pentacles, yeah, they feel like, I don't know if this person, I don't know if you consider this person toxic, or they think you feel that they're toxic, because they may have ghosted you, walked away from you, okay? This person is making a plan, okay, to come back. You have the Six of Swords. This person is feeling your energy detaching from them, and that's starting to make them nervous. Yeah, the Hermit, you're sticking to yourself. Maybe you're not talking to this person. You may have been doing, like, a lot of work on yourself, and I feel like a lot of people are seeing the changes that you're making in yourself, right? How do people see you? The Queen of Cups, very empathic, very sensitive, but at the same time, Seven of Swords is not somebody that opens up right away. Um, you may be a little bit, bit of a mystery to people, okay? But with the Queen of Cups, people, 
love your energy. When you do open up to them, they love your energy. And the Page of Swords. I feel like you guys are great speakers. Obviously, you're Geminis, right? But the Page of Swords is like, you teach people things. And I feel like they're... It's like it's always something new. Every day is like something else new that they learn from you. I feel like you're just a book of knowledge, right? The Page of Swords is, um, you know, getting all the details or getting more information. And I feel like people, how they see you is like they could come to you and ask you something and they know that you're going to be able to give them um, some type of information or guidance or whatever the case may be. I feel like you guys are extra, extra freaking smart. As I'm saying, that on the bottom of the deck is clarity. It's like you give other people a lot of clarity. I feel like a lot of people enjoy your energy, but you're also a mystery to them. So let's see what Spirit is bringing in for you. This could be anything. Empowerment. Trust. And financial health on the bottom of the deck. We will clarify. I feel like you guys are starting to feel like um, yourselves again or like your new self. It's like born again or something like that. That's what I'm feeling. I feel like you guys are getting your power back. The habit. You could have dealt with a lot of people who are codependent on you. You could have dealt with a lot of, you could have dealt with some type of addictions or people with addictions or things like this. But I feel like you are standing strong now. With the devil, it's a very strong presence. But the devil's Capricorn energy is also about work, work, work. And you have financial health. So all the work that you're doing on yourself, it's almost an obsession. Wow, six of wands. It's like all the work that you're doing is going, you're getting recognized for it. Like everybody's seeing this shit. You may be in the public eye for some of you guys, okay? If you're working on it, you soon will be. Don't give up. I feel like this is going to bring in a lot of money, a lot of abundance. The bottom of the deck is the star and the wheel. And you have the Eight of Cups. So there could be something that you're still in the middle of walking away from. Once you walk away from this, what's meant for you will come. It's like you're going to be a star here. You're going to stand out. You guys, Some of you guys may be either like bosses or somebody that's just really important. Okay? And I do feel like um, you guys are going to be standing out in the crowd. So this could be fame. This could be fortune. You have the Seven of Cups. You guys have a lot, a lot, a lot of different opportunities coming in for you like you may have a lot of offers coming in i feel like once you guys walk away from something the eight of cups is going towards your ninth cup which is your wish so which is your wish <laughs> um and if you guys are wishing to overcome things move on heal you know become famous be an actor be a singer stand out whatever content creator whatever this is that is for you. You have the Wheel of Fortune. This is something that's meant for you. This is written in the stars. And the Spirit wants you to trust this, okay? Four of Pentacles in reverse means that you, you're starting to let go of things that no longer serve you. And because you're doing that, you're creating a bigger path or open space for you to be able to walk through. You have the Moon. Some of you guys are worried, okay, about your financial health. Yeah, the Two of Pentacles. Some of you guys are weighing out, you know, what it is that you need to do next or trying to figure out what's the next thing for you, like making goals. But you have the Ten of Cups. I feel like there's no need to worry. This is a happily ever after. Financial health is like stability. Like, look at this tree. It's all freaking crazy all over, but it's still standing strong. It's still got leaves, right? So your life might feel a little bit like out of whack or topsy-turvy, up and down, roller coaster like right? But this is all meant to teach you. This is all meant to teach you to grow and help you figure out what it is that you want to do. And because you're going through all the shit that you're going through, you're going to be way strong. You'll be able to get through anything, okay? The high priestess. And you guys know this. You know this is meant for you. Whatever this is, you guys know this is meant for you. And that's why I feel like you, it's going to be even better. Nine of Pentacles, you guys are going to be taking care of yourself. Self-independent. You don't need anybody. You got yourself, right? The Ace of Pentacles, damn, and the Page of Pentacles, whatever it is that you guys are learning now, or whatever it is that you're doing now, studying, going back to school, whatever the case may be, you're leaving things behind, and because of that, you have a new beginning coming in. Ace of Pentacles is like the luckiest card out of the deck. You guys might run into like a massive amount of money, okay? A massive amount of money or a really lucky opportunity that can bring in a massive amount of money. Okay, and it doesn't have to be money. It could be stability. It could be happiness. Whatever it is that you're aiming for, that's what you're going to get. Okay, so that's what I got for you guys. If it resonates, please like and subscribe. 
Toodles!